Did you hear? There's a new classy phone in the market. I'm totally gonna buy it. And did you see what he's wearing? It's from the new summer line by that famous designer. I think I'll buy that too. Trending gadgets, textiles, and their flashing features always draw us in to purchase more, but overconsumption comes with a price and is burdening our planet. The textiles industry's fast fashion, for example, contributes to the 92 million tons of textile waste being produced globally each year. Improper waste management systems coupled with convenience and the use and throw culture leads to alarming amounts of waste. Collective waste is either sent to waste to energy plants for composting, for recycling, or to be dumped in landfills. Only around 13% of global municipal solid waste is recycled, and we think it's a solution. It's not, but it can definitely reduce the waste burden on our planet. It reduces the amount of waste that ends up in landfills or incinerators, thus reducing the air, soil, and water pollution. As more waste gets recycled, the need for raw materials also decreases. Extracting new raw materials uses more energy as compared to producing a recycled material. For example, recycling an aluminium can saves 95% of the energy required to make new cans. Even though we don't partake in the actual recycling of items, segregating our waste at source is crucial in ensuring that waste gets recycled properly. This means you should discard different types of waste in separate categories to make waste management easier. The usual categories of waste are organic waste, mostly categorized by the color green. This includes food waste, yard waste, and other biodegradable materials. It can be composted and turned into fertilizer for gardens and agricultural land. Recyclable waste, mostly characterized by the color blue. This indicates materials such as plastic, glass, metal, and paper. It can be recycled and reused. Hazardous waste. This includes toxic chemicals, sharp objects, batteries, electronic waste, and medical waste. It should be disposed of carefully to avoid harm to human health and the environment. Construction and demolition waste. This includes debris from buildings and demolition projects. It can be reused or recycled. Biomedical waste. This includes waste generated from hospitals and healthcare facilities. It should be segregated and disposed of carefully to avoid spreading infections. E-waste. This includes electronic waste such as old computers, TVs and mobile phones. It can be recycled to reduce the environmental impacts of electronic devices. A waste collector may not always collect all categories, but you can set up a system for keeping these items readily separated. A bin for your organic waste and another for your recyclables. Most recyclables need to be clean and dry before they can be recycled, as in rinsed and dried. Hazardous waste and e-waste should be handed over separately as they can cause injury to waste handlers during the management process. In order to properly recycle, you'll need to check with your local recycling program to find out what materials can be recycled in your area and what the guidelines are. You can usually find this information on your city or town's website. The colors of bins may also vary from place to place. The goal of waste segregation is to minimize the amount of waste that ends up in landfills and to maximize the potential for recycling and reuse of materials. Waste segregation can be implemented at both the household and community level. In some areas, waste segregation is mandated by law, and in others, it's encouraged through education and outreach programs. By properly segregating waste and ensuring that it's disposed of or recycled in an appropriate manner, we can all help to reduce our environmental impact and create a more sustainable future. Remember, recycling is just one part of a sustainable lifestyle. Consider reducing your consumption reusing items when possible, and composting organic waste to further reduce your environmental impact. This can be done through the use of reusable items such as coffee mugs,
clove bags, metal straws and forks. Say no to the plastic bag at the checkout counter. Say no to the single-use paper cup at Starbucks. Say no to the idea of overconsumption. Start repairing broken items and only throw away items when there's nothing you can do. If this video speaks to you and you want to do something meaningful for the environment, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Unravel Talks for more such content.